Hey, so whenever you're using Helm charts to customize the installation of a service on Kubernetes, you typically use a values file to override and customize different parameters for your installation, but that can lead to errors. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I troubleshoot those errors to make my installations easier and a little more stable. Hey, what's going on? I'm Will from DevOps for Developers. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get through some different um, errors that I've seen when using Helm charts. So take a look at this. I was installing an Elasticsearch cluster on my Kubernetes cluster, and I wanted to set up some anti-affinity, some pod anti-affinity stuff so that I only had one data node per node in my cluster. So I got this error message on line 33, could not find expected key. Well, that's super cool, but what the hell's on line 33? Because Helm, if you're not familiar with that, actually uses a template to render out the uh, Kubernetes manifests that are installed. So line 33 is pretty much meaningless to me at this point. I mean, you might as well say that you captured an error and gave it to some aliens flying by in a nearby UFO. So let me show you how I dug into that to find out what exactly line 33 was. So I used the Helm template command along with the dry run and debug flags, and I piped the output of that to a file called errors.yaml. So what that does is that uses Helm to render all of the temp chart templates in that particular release or that particular repository. And then it just pipes all of that into the file that I specified, errors.yaml. And with the dry run flag, it's just gonna do it locally. So it's not actually gonna go try and do this on my Kubernetes cluster. So now I can open this errors.yaml file up and it told me in the error message that it was the Elasticsearch data stateful set. So I go find that in there. And sure enough, on line 33, we can see that not only have I tried to specify the app key twice as a label, but one of those is listed as an element in an array instead of just as a key. And now what was going on here is I was trying to apply an extra label to my data nodes so that I could set up the pod anti-affinity. One of the benefits of doing this was I also saw that there were some other, I got to see the other labels that this um, Helm chart was already applying to the stateful set that it was building. So now knowing what the error was and having some bonus background info, I removed the pod label that was causing the error and I updated my pod anti-affinity to use some of the existing labels that were already being created to set up the Elasticsearch data nodes on the nodes as I wanted it to run in Kubernetes. Tested everything out and it's up and running. So I hope that was helpful for you. I hope that that uh, helps make your Helm chart troubleshooting a little bit easier or better in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.